Hey y'all, it's me, Slay by Jordan, and the company we'll be working with today is Ali Pearl Hair. They sent me over a 24 inch chocolate brown 13 by 4 a she lace frontal wig in 180% density. As you can see, that hair is silky, fresh out the box. That color is on point. The lace is super thin, comes pre plucked. Like this wig is perfectly ready to go fresh out the box. You really don't have to do any customization at all. You can plug it some more if you want a more um, plucked hairline, but you can definitely take this wig fresh out the box. But y'all already know I did my big one off camera. I bleached the knots and I did pluck it some just to give it a more natural look. Um, so I did want to let you guys know that I did bleach the knots and I did pluck it. And now we're here with my girl Bert and we finna get this wig and style started. So we're going ahead and sewing this wig down just for extra security. Right now we're just smoothing back our glue and then we're gonna let it turn clear before we apply another coat. Y'all already know I did four coats as normal. This is just gonna give you a great hole. You're gonna get at least at least two weeks out of your install. That last layer is dry, so we're going to proceed to lay our lace down. We're using our blow dryer and our comb to help that lace adhere to the skin. I'm interchanging it between hot and cool air. After that, after I do that for about maybe like a minute or so, we're going to tie that down with our elastic band for 10 minutes. And then when we come back, we're going to cut off that excess lace.
as you can see that lace is looking real good and i didn't even put any makeup on it i literally just put makeup on her cap and i just installed the lace as is and i do that a lot with hg lace even on my um darker tone clients i really just installed the lace as is because it pretty much blends pretty good for me and then i'll add makeup if need be but with hg lace i really don't need makeup for real like that or use it like that Right now, I just took my wax stick and my comb, and I'm making her a curved side part. This is a full 13 by 4 frontal wig, so you can make your part as deep as you want to. I've always loved Ally Pearl for this because their wigs have always been a true 13 by 4. So, like, you can do the deepest side part you wanted to. You really can make a part right by your ear if you wanted to. Like, and I just love Ally Pearl for that. So, shout out to y'all for that. I'm just separating my hairs from my baby hairs. Y'all already know. We're doing two on each side as normal. Nothing crazy. Like, this is just a very cute, simple, girly, cute hairstyle today. And you're going to enjoy it. So now we're taking our hair flex hairspray and spraying it all over that lace. And then we're going to take our elastic band and we're going to tie that down for at least five minutes. This is going to give you the ultimate meltdown. So now as you can see, everything is melted. It's looking flawless. We're about to cut, curl, and swoop these baby hairs. But before we do that, I like to comb them out because the hairspray kind of can make it crunchy. And I like to hot comb them just to get them, you know, like ready. And then we're going to cut curl and swoop And while her baby hairs are drying, we're gonna go ahead and press this hair out. I'm using my Beyond the Zone Turn Up the Heat Spray and my Babyliss Titanium Nano Flat Irons from Sally's. And we're just gonna press that hair out. The look we're going for today is like a curl ends look. Like we're just gonna curl the very ends of the hair. However, I do want the top of the hair, like the roots in the mid shaft to be silky. So I just decided to press the entire head first before I curl the ends. That way it just gives a more polished look.
Look at how silky that hair is. This is hands down the best chocolate brown wig that I've ever had. Like this hair just pressed out so good. Her baby hairs are dry. Y'all already know I'm gonna customize them off camera by making them a little softer and whatnot. Now we're gonna take our Salon Graphics High Beams in the dark warmest brown. And we're gonna spray that on the back of our hand and we're just gonna dip our hand in the dye and just paint it on to fill in those over bleach parts to give the part a more crisp look. We're kind of like doing like the the low budget version of the the hair dye sticks, like the Clairol root touch up pins. We're basically just doing that uh, manually. And then I like to take some powder just to really like make that part define and give a more scalp like effect. And then we're gonna spray that with hairspray and lock that into place. We're gonna bring all the hair to the front and give it a blunt, even cut. Now we're taking our T3 single pass 1.25 inch curling iron and we're literally only curling the ends. We're not pin curling the hair. We're just curling the ends, taking it off the iron, kind of like swishing it to, you know, get out some of that heat. And then we're just dropping it and let it do its own thing. And see, we just curled the very ends. Now I'm gonna take some Beyond the Zone spray to finish off the look. We're gonna bring all the hair to the front and we're gonna comb it out with a wide tooth comb. And then I'm gonna show you the finishing style, which is right before your very eyes right now. <laughs> She's so cute and pretty like this brown just brings her out so much like this just totally fits her let's do a quick recap
I want to thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you check the description box for all information and links. I love you all so much. Goodbye. Catch you in the next one.